Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Jim Walker, who's the founder of CFI, stands for Certified Floor Covering Installers. He's in the Hall of Fame for the World Floor Covering Association. Jim, how you doing? I'm doing fine this morning, Kemp. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. You know, one of the things I always like to point out when I talk to you is that you and I were together on 9-11, weren't we? Yes, sir. We sure were. We were filming a commercial with Bob Vila and Kathy Ireland. That was a terrible day, definitely. We'll never forget that. No, that's a milestone in my life right there. Yeah. And I want to start out, most people know what, who the CFI is and what your purpose is. You were at Surfaces this year, and I was talking to Jane, your wife, and apparently you had a really good Surfaces. Talk a minute about that, if you would. Oh, man, it was a fantastic event out there at Surfaces. We had a tremendous amount of interest from manufacturers and from the retailers, these big organizations that want a uh, certification or want some type of training in, in regards to floor covering. And that's what our whole premises is, is to identify those people out there who want training uh, and who may want to update their training. I think one of the things that happened at Surfaces is they set up an area downstairs where you guys could do some training where people could see exactly what you do, and it just created a lot of interest. So a lot of people signed up for your training classes, didn't they? Oh, a ton of people. That was fantastic, letting us demonstrate what the CFI really does and lets the average installer, the, the attendees, come by and see how carpet should be installed according to manufacturer's guidelines, such as sealing the seams, power stretching, matching patterns, things like that. And this was actual hands-on. We had about 20 people who signed up and wanted to go through the certification process, and that's what they were doing there on the showroom floor of the surfaces. Well, the main reason I wanted to talk to you today is to talk a little bit about this S600, this new carpet installation standard. A little background on that. I think it was around July of 2009, the Carpet and Rug Institute and the WFCA decided to fund the development of a new carpet installation standard, and they tapped the IICRC, which has generally been known as a cleaning and inspection organization, to drive the ANSI process. So you were given, I think, responsibility for a chapter or two of it, and some of your other associates were involved. It's been through a long process. I mean, July of 2009 to now is a long time. They finished writing the draft, and then they issued it for public comment in mid-January. And I think on March the 11th, that period ended. And I just wanted to catch up and see from your perspective where it stood. Okay, well, uh, we're going to meet the consensus board and the writer of the ANSI standard. We're going to meet on uh, April the 2nd and 3rd in Atlanta, and we're going to go over all the public comments that came in from the review, which was out there for 45 days. The public had a, a chance to have an input in this, and we're going to meet and go over all of those concerns that people had about the different chapters, how things were done, what was left out, what should be put back in there. So that's what we're going to be doing on the 2nd and 3rd with the S-600. Now, as we get to this point, and we get fairly close, I guess, to getting a new carpet installation standard finalized. What are concerns do you have, if any? Well, first of all, Kemp, I'd like to say that I'm, uh, I want to be optimistic about this. This is one of the, the best pieces of information, especially for the installer. That, and that's my objective, was to get a level playing field for everyone. So I'm very optimistic about this. But there's still some concerns out there that we have, and we'll be discussing those April the 2nd and 3rd. My concerns are about who actually is going to implement this document. Are all the parties that are involved in writing this document, are they going to be responsible for implementing the, you can write anything, Kemp, but getting it implemented is another story. It's kind of like a law. There's lots of laws on the books that don't get implemented. Right. And I don't want this document just to sit around on a shelf somewhere. My wish is that this document would be implemented and used. Yeah. So take, for instance, with some of these inspection documents and some of these other things that the IICRC manages, there are a lot of fees associated with access to it, and they charge for grading tests and stuff like that. It's almost like it's a profit center, and your goal is to make sure that since this was funded by the WFCA and the CRI, that people should have free access to this information, right? That is true. In addition to that, the information, the basic information, on this document came from installers from around the country. 
And so I really don't see that anyone should be profiting off of our knowledge because, again, the IICRC, all they did was manage the information and write the information down. I don't think they should have a right to come in and manage installers. They're in the cleaning business, not in the installation business. And just so people don't misunderstand you, where does your passion lie? As I mentioned at the beginning of this interview, you've been inducted into the Hall of Fame of the WFCA, which is a very elite group, and it's because of who you've stood for. Tell us about your passion. Well, my passion started about in the late late 50s, and I wanted to be, obviously, I wanted to raise my level of education and my professionalism in, as far as installing carpeting. Well, that transferred on the years. I just got more and more involved with the industry, not just with my part of installation, but more and more part of the industry and understanding what the retailers go through, understanding what the manufacturers go through, the entire industry. So what I set out to do was not only to inform, but to raise the level of my profession. I have a real short story here I'd like to share with you. I was very privileged to send my son to a private school. And in this school, everyone was all professional trades. And my son was actually ashamed that his dad was just a carpet installer. (laughs) Therefore, I set out to raise the level of this profession because of my son. And so that's why I have this desire to raise the level of all carpet installers. It's very interesting. You know, one of the things that I think should be pointed out is that if you're going to write a standard for a process, you need to have actually put some knee pads on, and you have spent a lot of your life down on your knees, haven't you? 49 years. All right, Jim. Well, I appreciate you spending time with us. Hopefully this process will get to the end and we'll all have something we can work with because I think the end goal is for these major carpet producers to actually require the use of a certified installer as part of their warranty program, right? I would agree with that wholeheartedly. And I, I have to say that the CRI and the WFCA should be commended because they initiated this. Chris Davis initiated this along with Warner Braun. And I think they should be commended because this is a tremendous thing in this industry if, and I know it will be, it will be implemented. But I do want to say that I'm very, very cautious about who's going to do the implementation. Yeah. Okay, Jim. Great to talk to you again. Been talking to Jim Walker, who's the founder of the CFI, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.